So I, I know how to deploy my countermeasures. Hmm. What was that sound? How big are you compared to my base? Yeah, you're basically like my base moving around here. Huh. That's a cool sight to see around here. Let's look at it from the window. Welcome aboard, Captain. Huh. There's the don't die. Alright. That's neat. Alright, so let's uh, get busy. I need to make the stuff that's required to make a scanner room. I don't really- I have a scanner room back at the Red Reef. I don't really want to dig that one up. I like that one as being a secondary base, even though I don't really have a lot of use for it right now. At the very least, that, that, that location marks the caves, which I think we might have more use for in the future. Bummed that I can't get in there with this guy, although if I go to the other entrance I found that one time, maybe I can get there with, with this guy? I don't know. One goal would be to find a way into the sea moth. Uh, one would it'd be to, one goal would be to find a way to get the sea moth deeper, which I need an upgrade for. As far as I can tell, yeah, power cell charger. Don't know how to make that. One of the reasons I'm going to the Aurora is hoping that I'll find stuff like that. So, five titanium, two copper ore, two table coral, and one gold. I should have like all of that stuff except maybe the titanium. Of all things, that's what I'm kind of low on. One, t uh, three titanium. One gold. Oops. I don't even notice when I change floors at first because I'm like... You don't see it happen. Table coral. One table coral. There we go. Two copper ore. There we go. So I need a wee bit of titanium. And I currently do not have a surplus chest of it. Despite what you might expect. I don't have a surplus titanium container. Titanium's usually pretty easy to find. I probably don't even yeah. I was gonna say I probably don't even need I probably don't even need a scanner room for it. These guys are nice enough just to like take it around for me. And I will rip it out of their goddamn arms or hands. I don't even feel that bad, because I kind of am I'm, I'm vaguely sympathetic with the stalkers. At the same time, I have like, oh, they, they passed it off to each other. Oh, look at that. That looks like a sea creature. <laughs> it's actually kind of alarming. I've grown vaguely sympathetic with the stalkers, but uh, by and large, I don't really care about robbing them of their titanium, because as far as I can tell, they don't actually seem to do anything with it. They kind of seem to just like walking around with it a bit. Reginald and I, I, I almost cooked them. Oh no. Alright, so one, two, three, four, four, five. Don't forget the hatch, though. So next we need a hatch. Quartz and two titanium. One, two. Ooh, running out of quartz. That's a problem, isn't it? That's a problem, because I also need a at least one solar panel. If I can find one. Uh, right, there's a whole solar panel shaped one. Yep. Two titanium, one copper. <clears throat> Two titanium. One copper. And two quartz. Alright. Thankfully, I've got a scanner room already built so I can find these things more better. Oink. There we go. And while that's scanning, I'll put Reginald and I, I in their new home. And then also maybe scan them, because I don't know if I've actually scanned them yet. Oh no, I can't fit both of them. Oh, I just ate Reginald! Because I did the wrong click. Oh, that's terrifying how that just happens. Oh, sorry Reginald, you're dead now. Can I scan these guys? No. No, we filled up the tank. Well. 
Where is I? I? Oh, there he is, down there. Look at him. Who's a little terrifying creature? Yes, you are. Well, don't don't fight with Gary. I just ate Reginald. <laughs> Reggie, no. All right. Quickly going to acquire some quartz and make ourselves a hatch. And then I'll have my scanner room ready to go. Excuse me. Ignore me, please. Is he even attacking me? He like roared and went the wrong way. Oh, I probably just destroyed my own ability to... Oh, this is one of those places where bad things happens, isn't it? Man, I can stay underwater forever now. Ah, yes, the, there's a, that is just a noise of units now. Because the Don't Die and the Sea Moth are, all in the, are both in the same location, in addition to the HQ. The sea moth is inside of the don't die. Huh. So I believe that two is all I needed, right? Yeah. I think I'm good. I think I have everything I need now. Unfortunately, the survival mechanics are calling. I have no salt. Let's see. Oh, I don't need to. I don't need to make any more water. Uh, I don't need. To, I don't need to make any more bleach. I have bleach already. So it's like what salt and coral tube. So that that needs to get done at some point, but not today. I can make water right now with all this shit. I gotta say, cook mass producing water, fantastic time to quickly drink some water. Seek fluid intake immediately. Vital signs stabilizing. A little alarmed that my inventory is maxed out. Did I accidentally overproduce and not get all of it or something? Probably not. We're probably fine. You know, I shouldn't take you with me. No. I'll leave the last bit of bleach there. Uh, no, what I, should, what I should do is I should take you with me and with the Cyclops, if I'm gonna take the Cyclops. Let's go get risky, you know? We'll have a mobile base. Let's play with my new toy. How did I- which way did I go? Okay, uh... I think I'm largely good to go. Just gotta deal with my food a little bit. To do... excuse me. Deposit all of my excess water in here. Cool. Ooh, you know it would make a lot of sense. You know it would make a lot of sense. Look at me thinking ahead. That's a good thing to load in there. Uh, yeah, these aren't very big lockers. They're not very big lockers at all. And I don't think I can label them? Frustratingly? Oh well. Water, and then med kits. And then probably s whatever shit I find on my runs, I can jam in here. Really good for a, a run to the island. Go through those caves, grab everything I can grab, and then jam them in these things, then go back into the caves, as opposed to having to go all the way back to a base. And then I can take all that back to my base via the Cyclops, which is handy. Probably a good idea. Uh, is there anything I want to take with me? You? Okay. Air bladder. I don't know when that'll ever be useful, honestly, but sure, let's bring it along. Uh, rebreather, propulsion, grav trap. Sorry, we got limited inventory space now, so I gotta make a few trips.
There we go. Uh, it actually runs out of space really quickly, doesn't it? Huh. Interesting. Let's bring the additional de decoys, the air bladder. There is already a fire extinguisher there. I'll bring some flares. The fire extinguisher is already on board, so I might as well keep one here and one there, I suppose. It even has a dedicated mount. How nice of them. Let's see, creature decoys, air bladder. I brought something else, didn't I? So I got the propulsion cannon. The fire extinguisher is already upstairs. There's some flares. Bink, bink. Why not? This is all more stuff that stays in my inventory. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna go on a nice, like, low-risk trip. I think the stasis rifle is gonna be permanently in my inventory for the sake of my own mental health. Uh, oh, I forgot to turn off the scanner room. Technically, probably doesn't matter because my base probably has so much power cons- uh... Uh, I almost said consumption. My base probably has so much power storage at this point that it probably that never matters. But let's not be dicks. There we go. This character's gotta have, like, some excellent core strength, right? So I've got a bed on my ship, I've got a bunch of my crew and my equipment on my ship. And now I'm gonna go over there. Sun going down? You have all this fancy shit and you don't have a clock, huh? Didn't make the list. I can't tell if the sun's, if the sun's going down or if, uh... No, the sun's probably going down. Alright. Let's navigate around the high point over here. I know we're fine. I don't have to worry about going. I don't have to worry about what's under me because I'm not going down right now. Navigating this through the through this area is not the smartest idea, but here we are. It's really worried about me. <laughs> oh man. Oops. But that I think that's fish actually. Wow. We're making it. We're making it. We're making it. Can't see shit. You can see a bit more with the lights on. But yeah, it's, it's just fucking dark. And yeah, it being this dark is less scary than it was before, admittedly. Interesting. All right. Let's take a nap. Oh. Uh, oh, I left you on, didn't I? Engine powering down. I should have turned you off. When I left to do all that stuff. That works. A, a structure I built in the Cyclops actually works. And yeah, the storage built in isn't amazing, but I I, based on that, I should be able to make a bunch of, like... Wall lockers? Like, right here, even? I'm not gonna do it right now, because I have a finite number of resources that I have for other reasons. Yeah, you can just build a bunch of shit in here. Comes with the fabricator. Can I deconstruct the fabricator? That's the upgrade fabricator. Oh, wait, there is- is there even a fabricator on this thing? Like, a normal one? I think there might not be. I think I might have imagined that, or... I think I, th I think I was thinking of the upgrade fabricator. No. And can I make, a uh... Wall lockers in here? You can make wall lockers fucking everywhere. Not there. Not there. But most places. Oh. Wait, what the fuck? This is the hatch the sea moth comes in through. How... Why does it let me build wall lockers there? Do they actually work? Do they open... Will they open up with the, uh with the doors, and I just have, like, weird exterior doors. Now I want to keep checking everything. But yeah, they're working here, even though they look like they- I think they would be floating? 
because the walls are so curved. But you can build wall lockers in here. And up there. Okay. They can build a wall locker on the deploy launcher? Just... What the fuck? You guys are- you're- this game is so restrictive of where I can build stuff and it lets me do it there. What is- what is this game sometimes? <laughs> what the fuck? But I couldn't put a bed by the wall. Oh well. And in here? Can I- oh yeah, my, even my captain's quarter can be full of all sorts of things. That's another- oh, I have two fire extinguishers. Okay. Cool. Alright, well that was my curiosity sated for a moment. <laughs> it's now the morning and I'm gonna go back towards the Reaper like some jackass. Not directly towards the Reaper, necessarily, but kind of. Alright. This should be the vague direction. I like navigating on... What the fuck was that? <laughs> I didn't even get a proximity warning. Was I just a really stupid stalker? Just like, I'm gonna headbutt it. Good. It's made of metal. I want it. I want the metal. I'm a stalker. Let's just not let- let's, I just hope this isn't the embarrassing part where I destroy my nice new, uh, ship that you guys just watched me build. Because, yeah, my first instinct is to not use this thing, basically. Uh, which is not a great visual. I Me mean, just not using it. So we're already, like, right here, huh? This thing, this thing moves at a decent speed. How am I going to get into this thing? I don't know. Hey, stalker. I'm probably going to park it nearby. And that'll be as close as it We're really close to where that, uh, Reaper was. My tail's getting close to stuff. Nothing showing up right now. Okay. Engine powering down. Now we're now we're silent. Cool. This is a fun little excursion. Playing with all my toys. Expensively, because they use up their fucking power cells. Uh it's uh, that's a thing to be concerned about. We're not that far down though. So for now, it's not that much of a concern yet. Should I launch the Seamoth? Not sure I have reason to right now. I think I'm gonna go out by foot first. Let's see. What if I could just build a C uh, scanner room in here? Like right here. Just plop it right there. Honestly, it- Oh! Uh. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Motherfucker. You okay? You appear to be fine. Ugh. What's that visual? Am I out of bounds or something? What's that visual? Let's turn the engine on. Did I clip into something? Engine. Should I be worried about that noise? When it, when it turns on, is it loud in a way that's dangerous to me? In my... my stealth thing? No, we're fine. I think when I'm in this thing, we just get a really low quality render of some of the environment. Cause like, that shadow looks fucked up over there, right? Okay, I mean... See, you might be like, what the fuck did you expect when you put that thing there? But let's be honest here, like... You would have tried too, right? <laughs> like, when it, when it showed up, it was clearly clipping through the wall and everything, but like, it showed up as green, and I'm like... Huh. Let's see what happens. Maybe the, I was kind of prepared for that the, the game might even crash. I was a little concerned. But it was funny to me.
Alright, let's do some eating. If I can find the food. Hey, little moth guy. Hey, buddy. There you are. I was like, where the fuck did that end up? There we go. Bit of food consumed. What's that sound exactly? There's like a rustling noise in my ears that I'm not really fond of right now. It's a weird feeling. Had more of a water problem than I anticipated. There we go. I think all that water mains I did, I didn't actually take care of the fact that I needed to add water to my character. You're a big old thing. Honestly, I don't even know where to start with you. Let's start by trying to build a scanner room. That'll be fun. Can I climb up here? Cool. That way I can't do above water scanner rooms. I mean, you can, you just can't use the drones, but I don't really care about the drones that much. Eh. In the water it is. Alright. <laughs> Having some collisions here. Let's start by plopping that solar panel up there, because it's currently daylight. Oh, I built you in a shadow. <laughs> it's probably not a good plan, actually. Admittedly, the shadow will move over the course of the day, I guess. But it, let's at least not consciously build it right in the shadow right now. There we go. Go, go, go. There we go. Oh, I should have made a beacon. Eh. I mean, it's by the Aurora. It's one of the most findable things in the game. Which side's the hatch? That side's the hatch? There we go. Alright. How are you doing, Mr. Computer? Obviously, what I want is, uh, not those things. Sulfur creature egg limestone chunk. Where's the rest of the list? I mean, what I want is, what I want is fragments. Saying there's a wreck over there. Huh. This is not going according to plan. I was definitely hoping to find fragments. But I'll take a little look over here. That was just the door auto-opening for me, wasn't it? Yeah, this is more wreck, sure. I think it's all stuff I already have. Or even not stuff at all. Grav trap. You have the sea glide. A whole lot of whatever, mostly. Sea glide. Finding sea glide fragments feels quaint at this point. How bad could this zone be? It has stalkers in it. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, hello. I haven't been inside this wreck yet. Hopefully when I get back, because 
I've seen the list grow over time, so I'm hoping that when I get back, the other one will have more stuff in it. I'm hoping that when I go back to the scanner room later, it'll suddenly have, like, Fragment as an option. Because I've, I've, the, uh, the first scanner room I ever did had two pages at first, then eventually had three pages, for reasons I'm not really clear on. So everything's tossed around in here. Lots of sea glide fragments. I could scan that stuff, it's just, just gonna fill my inventory with a lot of titanium. Isn't it weird just not being all that concerned about your air supply? <laughs> Getting dark again already, huh? Yep. This game just has a really fast day-night cycle. An almost confusingly fast one. Alright. Just want to make sure I have more air before I go deeper. Seems like the smart plan. Mobile vehicle bay. Beacon. Beacon. Stasis rifle. There's another stasis rifle piece. They have to give you chances to find these things. Stocking up a bit. All right, so that's that's the and that's the exact location they highlight as being the wreck itself. Can I open you? Nope. Alright, not very eventful. It's a new thing. I haven't been to this one yet, but it's got all the same stuff I've seen before. I could keep going, but I'd prefer to sleep. Continue in the morning. Yeah. What was that sound? That was just, uh... That was just, uh... Reaper, right? I mean, <laughs> that was just, a Uh, Stalker, I mean to say. Yeah. <laughs> just heard a roar and I wasn't happy about it. I'm not totally sure if this thing actually makes you sleep till morning. I think it just sleeps a specific amount of time, which could be detrimental, because it might be too much time for all I know. Eh, <laughs> the stalkers are already taking my cameras away. As they do. That's all that I found from the previous excursion. Is that... Oh, that's a table coral. Okay. I mean, a tube coral. I briefly thought I was looking at a, uh... Why am I not using my sea glide, I guess? I mean, why am I... Why am I using my sea glide? Why am I not using my, uh... Other guy? My sea moth. Probably doesn't matter that much. Ah! You asshole. Ow. Ah. God, they're annoying. 